As the drivers complete their preparations down below us on the grid, one man who's no stranger to the pre-race pressure is Anthony Davidson, who joins me in the commentary box today. Great to have you with us, Ant. I'm sure you can tell us all about what goes through a driver's head before lights out. But from the moment qualifying's over, you start to feel the adrenaline in your body build up and the buzz in your stomach as we anticipate the rundown into Turn 1. It's all a bit like going into battle. And the unknown situation makes you nervous. Those pre-race nerves are a good thing. The day you don't have them means that you don't care anymore. And of course, you have to make sure that all the procedures are second nature to you so that they're not taking up too much of your capacity. So hello and welcome to another video. As you can see, we're finally on F1 2017. I finally decided to make a video on her uh, Pierre Gasly mod, uh, Mexico. I'll have all the links to all the helmets and, well, just the Pierre Gasly one, I think, in the description. But anyways, we're going lights out and away we go for the Mexican Grand Prix. Going to try and make a good start going down towards turn one. I've also got a realistic damage mod on for this video, so uh, watch out for that. I'll be pretty careful as cars if we're, and I've also got a camera mod on. Got quite a few mods on, but being pretty careful until you can see a few cars locking up. Just trying to watch the yellow flag already. Got on the inside a little bit. Illegal overtake. Don't know who I illegally overtook. I think it's because it's on the yellow flag, but it doesn't matter. They got back in front or they were involved in another accident. In the such of this house now, I believe it's Magnuson, but it doesn't matter, we've passed them now, passed Massa as well, all locking up right behind Kimi Raikkonen now, going to have to try and take the battle to him. This is quite a, a fun race to drive really because it's short and sweet and it's a short track so uh, if I was going to make some decent positions I had to go quickly and you can really attack this stadium section I've found. So trying to close right to the back of Kimi and uh, Obviously the dirty air is taking a big effect, there's the yellow flag again. Jeff's telling me I've made a good start, we're looking to shape a move on Raikkonen here. Up the inside, past Raikkonen, can we get past that force India? We have. So we're now behind my teammate, Brendan Hartley. And uh, it's going to be quite difficult to get past him, because obviously he, uh, the way I've done it is he's replacing Carlos Sainz. At, um, which makes it a bit... A bit difficult to pass. Mass has retired apparently, so um, I, b I would guess that that is down to a collision, so we're going to look back at that later on. I was really trying to hunt down Hartley now, try to close up to him, making a little mistake there. But I, I mean, as super as it sounds, I'm still kind of getting used to Mexico because, it, yeah, it's been in here since 2015, but nobody really plays it. Like, no one picks it online or anything. Well, people don't vote for tracks online, but it never get it never really gets picked online. Not that I play online loads anyway. And I never really play it because I either do seasons and don't get far enough. We're running wide though, just drifting the rear end, which is really easy to do on this game. Now on the threat once again from the drivers behind trying to take all we can out the stadium section oh good job strict corner cutting rules aren't on because that probably would have been a penalty Hartley's getting a little little bit away and we don't really want that so we're going to have a quick look at the Massa incident now so he's just going around the outside of the Force India I think it's Perez and there's just contacts and obviously his wheel comes flying off because he because uh, of the damage mod now we're back on board with Gasly and I've really messed this section up Obviously I closed a lot up on the entrance by uh, breaking really late, but by messing up the corner in the middle I've lost all that. So now it's just, the DRS is now enabled, and it's just one lap, can I get Hartley or not? That is the question. Go go flying down towards turn one, really taking that good job. Again, there's not strict corner, going rules a lock up. I'm really reacting late to this stuff, but it's because I'm in the middle of saying stuff as it happens. I didn't get any DRS on Hartley, so that's a bit of a shame. Going to try and close right up to the back and go purple, as you can see. Oh, closing right up to him. I'm not going to comment on the little lockup. Really trying to get on his back. Obviously, it's quite easy to lock up when you're pushing the car. Coming up towards the stadium section. And we're going to switch to a different camera angle. Good to see, sorry about the music in the background because I forgot to turn that off before the race. Uh, we're just 
this is the one the camera's on the camera mod, but we're just trying to size a move. Oh, the inside of Hartley there, locking up massively. Is he going to get back through? He's back through. There's a quick, that's a regular camera going to try and hold it on the inside. He's run wide. Kimi Raikkonen's trying to get him. I think Raikkonen's had him there. It's a bit of a shame for Toro Rosso. They won't be that happy with me, but there we go. Great finish. P7 for Pierre Gasly in the Mexican Grand Prix. Hopefully he can achieve something similar. Obviously he's starting quite far down on the grid. But yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. I'll leave the uh, links to the mods in the description. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Anthony, what do you think made the difference here? Well, I think the track conditions just really suited their car today. Wind, track temperature, you name it. These cars come alive when the tyres are just at the right temperature. So the more easily you can keep them there, the better your race tends to go. And that's exactly what happened. Their car just looks so comfortable out there. Well, this is it. This is where they all want to be. Here come the top three then, out onto the podium after a fascinating Grand Prix. Now then, Anthony Davidson, who was your driver of the day? Probably Danny Kvyat. The young Russian has a lot to live up to, and I think he did just that today. That's it for today's Grand Prix, and from Antony, it's goodbye, and see you again next time.